Hi guys, this is uh, Mr. Rammer again. This is going to be my last video showing you how to create win and lose conditions for your game. And uh, after this, you're going to be pretty much set up to build the rest of your game out yourself with your own sort of custom uh, levels, minions, items, etc. But you'll have all the sort of basic parts ready for your game to go. So, we are going to create a win and a lose condition for your game. And uh, we're going to get that programmed in. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our backdrops. Now in the backdrops, in the backdrops tab here, you can see we have our XY grid and we had our backdrop one grid. I'm going to create a um, sort of backdrop for our game now that we've kind of moved on from having to reference the XY coordinates. So I'm going to choose a backdrop. Click here, choose a backdrop. I'm going to put... Um, where am I going to put Scratch? Scratch is going to be in the jungle. So we're going to set my game. It's collecting donuts in the jungle. Um, and there's bats. So I'm going to get rid of my XY grid. So I'm going to click on that. Garbage that. And I'm going to create three different jungle backgrounds. One for my normal background. One for my win condition. One for my lose condition. So I'm going to right click, hit duplicate. Right click, hit duplicate. I'm going to click on the second one. I'm going to name it win. And click on my third one. I'm going to name that costume lose. So now we have three different backgrounds, although they all look the same at the moment. And we're going to add some text to them. So I'm going to click on my win background. I'm going to make sure it's converted to vector. And I'm going to hit my text. I'm going to make my text um, white. And I'm going to go with a sort of a pixel-based text. I'm going to click in here and write, you win. And I'm going to take my selection tool, and I'm going to just drag it a little bit bigger. So we've got a big, nice, you win. I'm going to align it to that center point right there. You win. I'm going to Command-C, or if you're on a Chromebook or a PC, Control-C to copy that. I'm going to go to my Lose Costume. Command V or Control V to paste it. Click on my text. Uh, sorry, convert to vector. My bad. We're going to Command or Control Z to undo that. I'm going to take a look in my lose, make sure it's converted to vector. Then I'm going to Command V to paste it. So type in lose, select it, and drag it over. Um, so now we have a regular backdrop, a win backdrop, and a lose backdrop. Okay. So let, let's add in a little bit of code. So let's go to Scratch. Now we can do this in Scratch, or we can do it in our um, level design. It doesn't matter, but I'm going to do it in Scratch for now. So let me zoom out a little bit here. What kind of code do I have for Scratch? I'm going to um, I'm going to create a little bit of a, an event here. So forever. So this will be our win loss event. Control. So we're going to forever check. And we're going to check for two things. So we've got two levels. We've got four uh, donuts. So when you collect all the donuts in the second level, you'll have eight points. So we're going to add a points check, and we're going to add a lives check. So let's go to operators. Let's add an equals, so equals and equals. And go to our variables. I'm going to zoom in here for you guys. Go to our variables. So we're going to add lives equals and if points equals. So if points equals eight, because that's how many points we can get in our game, or if lives equals zero, which is our loss, we're going to do something. So if um, if lives equal zero, we want the game to end. So we're going to do an event. We're going to broadcast a level. So we're going to broadcast and click new message, uh, lose. And we're going to broadcast one if we win here. So we're going to broadcast a new message. We're going to name that win. Click OK. Uh, so if lives equal zero, broadcast lose. If points equals eight, then broadcast win. We're also going to hide scratch on both of these accounts. So it's going to go to our looks. 
and we're going to hide and hide. Let's zoom out a little bit. Uh, you can see that we do have a show for Scratch when the game starts, so that's all good. So we're going to hide, hide. Now we need to add in the same uh, little bit of code to each of the other things in this game because we want them all to hide when the game ends, either by winning or losing. So let's go to Level, and let's go to Events. So when I receive uh, Lose, and when I receive Win, we're going to have the exact same behavior happen, and we're just going to Hide and Hide. Um, I wonder if I can just drag that over there. This one? Drag it over. If it kind of jiggles as it goes over it, I think it drops right in. And then we don't have to do this a whole bunch of times. Let's take a look. Back to, yep. Yeah. So it has uh, has received both of those. So I'm going to do that to all of these. So I'm going to put it in there. I'm going to put it in here. And drag it to that one. And drag it to that one. That one. That one. And that one, and that one. The last one we're going to do is we're going to go to our backdrops. And here we're going to do something a little bit different. So we're going to go to events. When I receive my lose, and when I receive win. And when game starts. Okay, so we'll have three of them. When game starts, when I receive lose, and when I receive win. And then go to our looks. When we start the game, we want to switch to jungle. When we lose the game, we want it to be lose. And when we win the game, we want it to be win. Okay, let's give that a test. Flag. So, let's grab that, grab that, grab that, grab that. Okay, we're in level two. Grab that, grab that, grab that, and grab that. You win. Perfect. Stop it. Uh, oh, we don't have, you can see here, we're missing some things. We don't have show tags. So I forgot to put those show tags in uh, the level, bat, and bat. Let's go to our level. Make sure we go to looks. And just make sure we drop us show right there. Same thing goes for our bat. We're going to grab a show, put them there. And we're going to put a show right there. Now let's give that a try. Okay, now they show up. Perfect. So let's uh, let's die here. So uh, lives one, lives oh, sorry two. Now it's one and lives zero. You lose. Okay. So we got win, lost screens, going. Um, we've got our background switching, and we've got everything appearing and disappearing when uh, we receive that broadcast for win or lose. So that covers the basics of coding for your game. There's going to be one more video where I show you a little bit about animation and um, maybe one video where I show you how to import your own assets, sort of your own costumes to, uh, to your characters. And that'll be a little bit more of an advanced one. This will be the last video for um, this particular um, bit of coding.